He's still the youngest player ever to appear at a World Cup finals and Norman Whiteside was at United's Cliff training ground this morning to help another generation of youngsters hopefully beat his record. Um, I've just been told that these are under eight year old kids and if they go to the World Cup in 2018 they can maybe beat my record because I was 17 years and 41 days so I'll be a hard record to beat I must add so let's hope it's not beaten before then. So a bit begrudgingly sort of supporting them then this morning? Oh yes, I've, I've nailed a couple already, so uh, <laughs> there's been a couple in the hospital, I think. No, they're having a bit of fun, as you can see in the background there, so as long as the kids enjoy it, um, fantastic. England's bid for the 2018 World Cup came under criticism last week when one FIFA official said the nation's proposals lacked a wow factor, but Whiteside doesn't agree. Well, if England do get it, obviously Manchester's hopefully going to you know, be one of the host cities um, because we've got all the infrastructure here at Old Trafford and... Um, at um, City of Eastlands or City of Manchester rather um, stadiums but yeah there was, I think it was on further criticism last week um, because I think Prince William has been involved they mentioned him not getting involved David Beckham I think he's been um, paraded out at Wembley um, so people are putting their weight behind it and hopefully um, you know FIFA will sit up and listen The national team of course complete their qualification campaign tonight at Wembley against Belarus and this is one Belfast boy who actually wants England to do well for me, um, people think that um, you know I don't support England, which is absolute stupid. It's an absolute myth. Um, I think that they have got the capabilities to do that. I mean, I do support England wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, um, because um, I came and made me living here. Um, I've been here 30 years in, in England, Manchester-based, and you know I didn't go back to Belfast. So um, and I love the area. I love English football. I made me living out of English football, and for me, I want England to do well in every World Cup and every Championship. So yeah, I think they've got the strong squad that they can go on and um, hopefully win it. Um, although there again, we wouldn't hear the end of it, would we? And a little closer to home, the former Manchester United star believes his old club will be strong in the Premier League again. But he's also keeping a close eye on Manchester City. I think United will um, be there or thereabouts again in um, the Premiership. But, I mean, I always look out for ex-United um, sort of boys and people that I've played with. Um, you know, I look out for Sammy McElroy's results when he's at, uh, you know, at Morecambe. And I'll, I'll look out for Sparky now at Man City because I think it's great for the city to have two teams involved. And it looks like this year Mark's put a good team together. Um, or a strong team together and you know people are talking about top four I mean I, I think they'll be doing great if he gets in the top six um, this season but the way they're playing the way they've started the season there's no you know there's no reason why they can't